Welcome! In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to use the typical maps component in JaspersOft Studio Professional. Here you can see a um, final report completed already. Uh, I'm just going to show you a quick preview. Um, Now I'm going to switch to HTML output and as you can see I highlighted um, the US states based on the population number and um, based on certain thresholds and I obviously can zoom in and zoom out and uh, you can see the detail of the the borders of each state which are quite uh, precise uh, obviously you can use a, um, a less precise um, borders uh, or contours of the polygon by uh, having less coordinates in your source uh, data source basically so um, now we're gonna start actually before this I want to show you um, how one way of loading data into, for example, a PostgreSQL database uh, from a shape file um, in order to have these shapes, uh, for example, in this case for the US states. So I'm going to show you um, this wiki uh, article from our community website uh, is an example that you can use to load uh, sh a shape file into. Uh, PostgreSQL with the PostGIS ex extension and um, so this is one way you can do it and after you loaded the data you you, you then can run a query some, something like this to um, basically load the coordinates the latitude and longitude for each point of, e of each polygon in your um, in your map um, as you can see here, there is an order by uh, state name and sequence. And this is important in your query because you need to return the data in a way that then the Jasper Reports library can build the, the polygons. So you need, you need to have the geographical entity first and then a sequential number that um, orders all the points or the coordinates in the map. Okay, so now we go back to the studio and we're going to start a new report. Uh, a blank is perfectly fine. We'll call this typical maps. Data source in this case I'm using Food Mart because that's where I loaded my, my data. Um, so we're going to I'm gonna put the same query you, you saw on the article and use that as a starting point. I'm gonna take all the fields. <coughs> the sequence I don't need in this case I'm not going to group by and, and that's it I'm gonna close this uh, actually no I'll leave it open um, so first thing I'm gonna remove all the bands except the summary band I'm going to expand the summary band a little bit. Let's see, 300 pixel. And I'm going to take the tip maps component from the pro components. Okay. And and then I will check the markers 
there is no marker markers defined then the paths the paths is what interests us um because those are uh, going to create the polygons so i'm going to add the new path and i'm going to say use the data set i'm just going to use the main report data set <clears throat> now um, in this case we need the name in this case is the name of the geographical entity in this case u.s states um, so i'm going to pick my field state name style we'll leave it empty for the moment and then for la for latitude and longitude we're gonna do the same Okay, and this one, I'm gonna do the same. Longitude, okay. All right, so at this point, we should be able to have already um, some something out of this so without setting any styles so let's um let's let's try the preview okay so now we need to switch to html zoom in okay as you can see the shapes are there uh, but it they don't give me any meaningful information in this case so what we want to do we want to highlight uh, each state based on the population count for each state so we go back to the design and we go to we add some styles. So let's say this one we call it population low. We say that it is a polygon. And then we're going to add the color. For example, population low, we say some kind of green. And then fill, actually, um, fill opacity. We're going to define something like 25%. Sorry, 25% uh, in this case. And data set, we don't use the data set. And this is one style. We got add another one called population medium. And color is going to be yellow. And fill opacity is still 25%. And it's polygon true. And then one last, last one. We call it population high, polygon true color some red same opacity okay now once we have these three styles defined we we're going to apply the style to each polygon uh, depending on um, an expression basically so we can say style is expression and then we're gonna say if population is lower than 
one million then pop hello or else if again population is lower than five million then pop med else <clears throat> the last one okay <clears throat> now let's try if this worked It looks like it worked, so you can see that so states with smaller population uh, in the north, like Montana, are showing as green, higher population between 1 million, 5 million showing in yellow, and everything with higher than 5 million showing in red. So this is a very simple example, but obviously um, there are more um, advanced um, ways to display these maps and uh, po polygons uh, with this component. Thanks very much.